What's up guys? So right now I'm at Euro Motorsports in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Of course you can probably see sitting behind me are two very special cars. We have the 2017 Mercedes Maybach S650 Cabriolet, uh, which is one of 300 units produced for the world and one of 75 produced for the US. And sitting over here is the 2020 Mercedes Maybach S650 sedan. Uh, now I just want to thank Dan and Gene from Euro Motorsports here in Fort Lauderdale for allowing me to review these two very special V12 beasts. Uh, some of you may know Mercedes-Benz has ceased all production of the V12s in any of their models. Uh, these two cars are, whether you want to call them dinosaurs or unicorns or whatever, uh, they're very rare, very special. And since I already did a full review on the 2020 S560 sedan, uh, the only difference between that car and this one being the V8 versus the V12. Uh, I'm really going to be focusing on the S560 Cabriolet behind me. Um, and yes, there are a lot of similarities between that and an S65 Cabriolet. However, uh, these both being my box have a lot of extra things uh, as far as the interior and exterior goes that they have over their AMG counterparts. So the bulk of this review is really going to be focusing on the Cabriolet here. So without further ado, let's check out the S650 Cabriolet. All right, guys, here she is, the 2017 Mercedes Maybach S650 Cabriolet. Now, this is a very special car. So for 2017 only, uh, Mercedes Maybach produced 300 of these for the world, and uh, only 75 of those came to the U.S. Uh, they were available in three colors. Uh, one was uh, red, I think it was called Zircon Red. Another one was white, the Diamond White Metallic, something like that. But this one is personally my favorite of the three. It is called Cote de Jour Light Blue Metallic, or Light Cote de Jour. It is a spectacular color. You guys can see there's tons of metal flake. And uh, out here behind uh, Euro Motorsports, they have this crazy LED lighting that really shows off the paint almost honestly better than it would in sunlight. And uh, you guys can see it has those amazing monoblock wheels that Euro Motorsport has actually color matched. So the Cote de Jour blue perfectly matches the uh, body color here, the ones on the wheels. You have that kind of saw blade effect, very cool wheels and uh, very distinctive and definitely fits the look of this Maybach Cabriolet. So this isn't going to be too in-depth of a review. I've actually already reviewed an S63 Cabriolet, a facelifted version, and I covered a lot of the technology and features in that car. So for this video, we're really going to be going through what sets this car apart as well as this one from your run-of-the-mill S-Classes. And as you guys know, the S-Class is already a very special car. So what sets these cars apart from those is just the level of luxury. So if the level of luxury in your standard S-Class was a 10, um, everything in a Maybach is just turned up to 11. I mean, for example, you have this incredible quilted stitching all over the seats. It is absolutely the softest leather I've ever felt in any car. And that's, yes, comparing it to Bentley and Rolls-Royce. And of course, it's standard on this car, but it's the Maybach uh, Napa leather. Of course, you have the quilted stitching all throughout. You have the Maybach logo there on the backrest. And just so the rear passengers don't forget what they're sitting in, you have a Maybach logo on the rear there. And if you guys can see that, right on the back of the headrest. And continuing on with the headrest, I'm sure you guys can see those fans right in the, in the headrest here. That is for the air scarf or the heated uh, air that comes out onto your neck. So what that's for is on a cold night, if you want to drive with the top down and uh, you don't want to uh, be cold and shiver, you just turn the air scarf on and uh, warm air blows out of that vent there right onto your neck, keeping you nice and warm. Um, coming around the back here, of course, this vehicle comes standard with Burmester's high-end 3D audio system. And uh, something that's pretty funny that actually you can only see when the top of the S650 Cabriolet is down is another Maybach logo right here right on the back here. This is like some kind of teak or really, really nice wood. And continuing down to the trunk area here, of course you have the Mercedes logo there that actually doubles as the trunk opener as well as the reverse camera. You have the S650 badging there as well as the Maybach badging. Now there's a couple ways you can open the trunk of the S650 Cabriolet. You can either use the key right here, also has a Maybach logo on the back of it. Um, you can swipe your foot underneath it opens up or if you close it when I was talking earlier about uh, the Mercedes logo here you actually push up it also opens up there and of course you can swipe it closes like that pretty cool and uh, continuing around the side here uh, similar to the s63 cabriolet that I reviewed 
Of course, you guys know from that review that uh, this car is actually on a short wheelbase European S-Class chassis, whereas uh, all North American S-Classes are standard long wheelbase. And all of the Maybach sedans are actually extended wheelbase. So it's actually uh, seven inches longer from the B-pillar back than a regular long wheelbase S-Class, which is actually what I have. I have a uh, standard long wheelbase S-Class. So you have a two-door car that is on a short wheelbase S-Class chassis. Still a very, very large car, larger than a full-size sedan, but it is a two plus two soft top convertible. And I'll show you guys the convertible part in a little bit. It is a very, very nice, uh, big soft top. Kind of looks like a yacht when the top is down, especially with all this amazing, uh, these amazing appointments back here. And coming around the side of the car, of course, like the back of the car, you have all the chrome bright work in the world. Those amazing monoblock wheels that are color matched, thanks to Hero Motorsport. And you have another Maybach badge on the fender, just in case you forgot what the car was. Coming around to the headlights, actually something pretty interesting I want to show you guys with the headlights. So uh, all S-Class coupes actually have uh, Swarovski crystals for the turn signals in the headlight. And um, you, where you get one big row of the crystals in the headlights. If we put the hazard lights on here. Now just for this car, just for the 300 units that Mercedes Maybach produced, uh, you actually have two rows of those Swarovski crystals. So it makes it look even more special. And when it comes to lighting, honestly, nobody does it better than Mercedes-Benz. Uh, whereas this is a pre-facelift of the S-Class Cabriolet or Coupe, what I really want to show you guys in a little bit is the lighting in the S650 sedan. It has the multi-beam headlights. Uh, actually, if I show you guys back here. So I've got the key to the S650 sedan here. And if I unlock it, you actually get a little uh, light show. And these are, of course, the uh, Stardust Effect taillights, which is very cool. It was introduced in 2018. But as you can see for the taillights of the S650 Cabriolet, pretty standard S-Class Coupe Cabriolet taillights, nothing crazy. It didn't receive the uh, OLED taillights that was introduced on the 2018 facelift. However, still a very nice looking taillight. Right now, we're actually gonna step inside, check out the interior. Turn off the hazard lights. And uh, right off the bat, you notice just how amazingly appointed this interior is. Uh, where a regular S-Class is already very nice and everything's covered in leather. They really uh, took it to the next level when it came to the S650 Cabriolet. And actually right there, you could see the Maybach logo that is illuminating from the door card here. And uh, part of the Burmester high-end 3D system, you have a door speaker there, another door speaker there. Uh, really just speakers everywhere. I mean, all throughout the dashboard in the back. And speaking of crystals, another thing I want to show you is if you close this door here, first you have the Maybach logo there and where you would normally have like a little piece of aluminum or some kind of trim to help you open this tray. Uh, it's actually a Swarovski crystal. And of course it says one of 300 there. Of course, 300 being the units produced uh, for the world and only 75 came to the US. Um, here on the steering wheel, it's a flat bottom, fully leather wrapped steering wheel. We have the Maybach logo right there. It's very, very nice. And when it comes to technology, like I was saying earlier, uh, nothing beats Mercedes-Benz. So right now we're gonna start the car up. We have the uh, push start over here. Got the Maybach logo there. Of course, the uh, intelligent headlight system just turning on there. You guys can see the uh, heads up display. Now, over here, we have the whole suite of technology. You have the Distronic steering assist right there, lane keep assist, parking sensors or the uh, self-parking, 360 cam, so if we press that, camera system comes up. And actually, if we close the door, since the cameras are on the mirrors here, I'll show you this real quick. So if you fold the mirrors up, you can actually see the camera out there on the mirror. So if we unfold them, you can see there it is your camera system and uh, this is very similar to even like my car and standard 360 surround view camera systems in S-Classes. You have your front view, your top down zoomed in front view, the wheels which are currently turned, you can turn them, see them in the camera, your rear wheels uh, zoomed in top down over the rear and then you can also do a 180 which gets rid of the panel uh, view but you can kind of 
see a 180 degree view see there's the s650 sedan and then hit 360 it takes you back uh, and you can just hit the back button and it goes out and uh, next we have uh, night view assist so pressing this button brings up night view assist actually I'll press it again so you guys can see check this out so uh, right now we're really just looking at this wall and the fence nothing crazy however um, it is a truly amazing piece of technology that you can actually use during the day as well and of course this last button here is uh, the heads up display which you can just turn off there you can actually kind of see it see it turning on there actually if I turn off the headlights that are very very bright you'll be able to see the heads up display see it over there pretty cool and uh, let's see, continuing on with the interior, uh, I'm not really going to go in-depth into the infotainment system. As you guys can see, you have the ambient lighting all throughout. Right now it's on the blue color. Uh, of course, you have the Maybach logo that is embossed inside the center console. Of course, it's double hinged, so you can do that. Or this, both ways, pretty cool. And like I was saying, these seats are just unbelievably comfortable. Um, and of course over here you have your cooled seats, heated seats, air scarf, you can control the uh, right seat, the passenger seat here. I'm going to turn all that off real quick. And you have a uh, three person memory. And of course your seat controls are actually on the door. And the door panels, door cards are fully leather wrapped, full Napa leather. It is absolutely amazing. Um, as that also goes for the dashboard, fully leather wrapped, stitching everywhere. This vehicle, of course, has the uh, fragrance atomizer. If you guys can see that there, that's the uh, Maybach fragrance. It's a little vial of this kind of perfume. So this is called Pacific Mood. You basically put it in there, and then you go to your climate control menu. You go to air freshener. And you can turn it on level one, two, three, or just stop it. We're going to stop it there. And of course, uh, talking about the details on this car, whereas there really isn't much of a headliner on the Maybach, you can actually see that uh, even up here, you have a fully leather wrapped, just really, really nice details. Even the uh, sun visors are leather wrapped, stitched, really amazing detail. And uh, right now, I'm going to show you guys the uh, power convertible top. So of course, it's a soft top. This vehicle is much too large to be a hard top convertible. Honestly, I think it's much more classy as a soft top. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. And another cool thing that is in most uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, coupes and cabriolets, you can see the seatbelt popped out once I closed the door. I thought that someone was in the car and they wanted the seatbelt. But uh, if I open the door, this actually retracts inside. And if I step inside, close the door, the seatbelt is handed to me. Just uh, one of the amazing little touches that is included in these cars. You can see the uh, ambient lighting all throughout the back seat. And you gotta think that if someone's buying this car, they're really not gonna buy it for the back seat. However, you do get heated seats, which I thought was pretty funny. And you even get your own uh, Burmester high-end 3D speaker back there, as well as uh, your own AC and your own zone of AC. So continuing on through the car, of course you have your regular, your sport mode, comfort mode, your vehicle lifter, and you have comfort, sport, and manual mode if you wanna do uh, paddle shifters in your Maybach convertible. And honestly, it's one of those cars that when you own it, you know that you've made it. It doesn't get much better than this. And in my opinion, uh, this is better than the Rolls-Royce Dawn. I have driven both the Dawn and the Wraith. There's only 75 of these in the country, 300 in the world. And um, you really just get the feeling you're sitting in something special when you're in this car. And uh, actually, you know what? I'll put up the top real quick. Of course, the uh, controls are here. You have to put your foot on the brake, 
pushed down. The back goes up there. And you can see the acoustic top is folding over us right now. Basically all the functions of a hard top, all the noise cancellation for the wind noise and stuff. And then there's a button here for all the windows. You pull that. And uh, right now, the entire world has been shut away. Cannot hear a thing. Can't even hear the engine running. The loudest thing in here is the air conditioning. Um, I mean, the engine actually doesn't sound bad if we run on the windows real quick. Really doesn't sound bad. It does not sound like an S65. It's not the hand-built uh, AMG engine, and it's a totally different exhaust system. And uh, just peace and quiet in mind. Sounds good. You can tell it's a V12. However, really no crazy exhaust note or nothing like that. Like I was saying before, the quilting on these seats is just amazing. Of course, you have the perforations for the heating and cooling functions. Um, these seats are actually ventilated, not cooled, so there's no air conditioning that runs to the seat. It's kind of like a two-stage process in which fans pull the heat away from your body and then push uh, cool air from the fans, like kind of reverse the fans, I guess. Um, of course, there are massage seats, just like with uh, every other S-Class that has the option. You go to vehicle, get out of vehicle there, go to the seat. Of course, you have a massage. But the massage programs in the 2020 S650 sedan are much more in-depth. There's just more available. And also, the ambient lighting is way crazier. Um, ambient lighting has never been that crazy in the Cabriolet and the Coupe of the S-Class. Um, I guess they just didn't have as many places to put it. Couldn't really reflect it off uh, enough surfaces. But it is really nicely done. All right, so right now, we're going to take the S650 Cabriolet out on the road and see what it's like to drive. All right, guys, right now I am driving the 2017 Mercedes Maybach S650 Cabriolet. I have the top down. I have the air cap up here. I have the windows up. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I figure it's a uh, luxury convertible. Why not drive with the top down? Just going to take it down the, uh, the same kind of side or back streets that we took the uh, S650 sedan down. And uh, just like the sedan, I mean, even with the top down, um, that V12 is incredibly smooth incredibly quiet i mean you do hear it is a nice rumble the similar to with the s63 and even the s550 uh, coupes and cabriolets uh, the coupe and the cabriolet exhaust systems are a little bit more sporty so you can kind of hear this uh, six liter twin turbo v12 a little bit more than in the sedan but um nonetheless it sounds great i'm gonna drop it down into sport mode step on it a little bit here <laughs> As you guys probably heard, uh, it chirps the tires a little bit, even with traction control on, kind of blows the tires off. A lot of torque, very linear too. The power, power band on this car is extremely linear. You can hear a little bit of burbles of the exhaust as I'm going down the street. All right, so let's cross here. All right, let's give a little gas. Wow, honestly guys, this is more like a kind of detuned S65 Cabriolet, but with a lot more luxury elements. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, honestly, you guys just saw the amount of tire spin I got. I'm gonna turn around right here, give it another go. No launch control or anything, it's rear wheel drive, seven speed automatic transmission. Give it some gas here. Wow, that is outrageous. The torque is so smooth, but it just, I mean, in the S65, which has a lot more torque than this, I believe this has about 660 pound-feet of torque, and the S65 has 738 pound-feet of torque. Uh, you get that same kind of like kick in the back of the head feeling, but it's really smooth. I don't know how to explain it. And honestly, I just keep making U-turns just to do some pulls here. Let's do another one, it's really fun. <laughs> Is that flash of the traction control again. I mean, yeah, guys, as far as open top cruising goes, ultimate in luxury, um, you and three friends can just go out cruising around the town. Uh, with the top up, it's actually very quiet and honestly, really can't beat it. 
actually I believe at about 30 I think 35 miles an hour we can put up the roof so let's put up the roof right now oh probably not a good idea because the uh, windows have to go down and the GoPro is on the window so we're not going to do that right now but you get the point I mean when the top goes up it's just as quiet as in any coupe any hardtop uh, coupe or any hardtop convertible um, really am very impressed by the S650 Cabriolet and I think you guys knew that from the second I started the video. Um, there's really nothing that is unimpressive about this car. And as far as I'm concerned, this is worth every bit of that $337,000. Steering is incredibly light. Let's do another pull here. Yeah, that is just amazing. So smooth, plenty of power, just on command. I mean, I really just don't know what else to say. Just like the sedan counterpart, uh, this S650 Cabriolet is an absolute joy to drive. And once again, I can't thank Dan and Gene from Euro Motorsports enough for giving me the chance to take these two out tonight, see what they're like to drive, check out all their amazing luxury features and technology. All right, guys, moving on to the 2020 S650 sedan. Uh, like I said earlier, not gonna get too in-depth into this car as I already reviewed a 2020 S560 sedan. It has the 4-liter uh, twin-turbo V8. This, of course, has the 6-liter twin-turbo V12. Uh, something interesting I want to point out that uh, really I'm not sure if the 2020 S560 had it, but uh, this car uh, has the Maybach logo or emblem on the actual hood ornament. It is not the Mercedes 3-pointed star. Of course, it still says Maybach on the grill. And um, really, I think that's just something they did for the V12s maybe. It's kind of like a last hurrah. Of course, you have the V12 badging on the fender there. And uh, this color is actually very special. It is Designo Cashmere White Magno. It is a matte white color. And it has the S65 wheels, which look very good. And uh, they're not the monoblocks that are on the Cabriolet. However, I was a little bit relieved when I saw that this car had uh, the S65 wheels. It actually looks like uh, an S65 almost. A little bit of differences as far as the bumpers go. However, uh, so definitely a lot longer than an S65. Makes a little bit less power. Uh, the horsepower is the same, I believe, 621 horsepower. Torque is a little bit toned down. It is rear-wheel drive. It does have the magic body control, uh, the curve control, and all that stuff. Uh, this car is, actually has the same, I believe. Also has the active body control. And of course, you have a Maybach logo on the C-pillar back here. Very similar to the Cabriolet. You can either use the key to open it or you can swipe your foot underneath. And of course you have the subwoofer that's part of the Burmester high-end 3D surround sound system. These amazing, very plush Maybach carpets. Extra carpet here with another Maybach logo. Uh, there's no fridge on this model, otherwise it would be taking up about a third of the trunk space. I actually don't mind when there's no fridge because I really do like, I prefer having trunk space over a fridge. And to close the trunk, you can either uh, hit one of these buttons up here or you swipe your foot underneath. No reason to kick the car. A lot of people think you have to kick the car for some reason. Um, of course, you have the Mercedes-Benz logo. This one does not double as a trunk opener or camera. The camera actually pops out of a little housing up here. You see the door there. And uh, of course, this, the sedan and the cabriolet are both available at Euro Motorsports here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So give them a shout if you're interested in either one of these cars. Of course, you have the Maybach badging there. S650 badging and uh, currently all the shades are up but I do believe that the interiors of these cars are roughly the same it's that uh, kind of uh, beige silk beige or espresso it's roughly the same when it comes to the uh, color scheme all right so first off we're gonna start in the front of the S650 sedan step inside Of course, uh, this interior is much different from the Cabriolet. From one, we're in a very large uh, four-door sedan. And uh, two, this is a facelift of the W222 chassis uh, of the S-Class. So that is uh, a C217 or A217. And this is a facelift of uh, where this would have been pre-facelift, the Cabriolet. So have a start-stop button there. It actually pulses. It's pretty cool. I mean, if you can see that, it's like breathing. So, push to start. Okay. 
and the Burmeister rotating 3D tweeters come out. Since the music is off, they're going to rotate back in. The ambient lighting will stay on, but they, uh, they just turn back in. Of course, when they're in or out, the Burmeister logo is always uh, perfectly even with the one on the door speaker. And on the door here, very similar to the controls in the Cabriolet. You have your ventilated seats, heated seats. You can control the uh, passenger seat there. Three-person memory. And you have this uh, controls for the seat. But right off the bat, you can see there's way more ambient lighting here. And actually, if we turn off the light, see just how amazing that ambient lighting is. And uh, just like the S560 sedan that I reviewed had, uh, this vehicle has magic sky control, which is kind of like the electrochromatic uh, effect on the uh, sunroof, the uh, du dual pane sunroof here. So if you press this button, it actually goes away. And if you press it again, pretty cool. Really works better uh, during the day in the sunlight. Um, however, uh, actually does work pretty well at night, especially under bright lights like that. And it's kind of funny. I just noticed the uh, quilting up on the headliner. It is a full leather wrapped headliner. However, you have the same cross stitched uh, quilted leather on the actual headliner. Pretty cool. There is a lot more detail uh, in this interior than the Cabriolet I noticed. A lot of quilting on the dashboard as well as the seats. You guys can see that there on the quilting. And uh, something interesting I noticed that um, I haven't seen before. Uh, an option on S63s and E63s and what have you. Uh, you can get the uh, pinstriped wood here and it's going to be piano black. But I've never actually seen uh, this style, it has, instead of the pinstripes being like a silver or white, they're actually gold. And uh, the wood is just kind of like a burled wood or nice dark brown wood. And just like in the AMGs, you have the IWC Schaffhausen clock here. And the updated steering wheel for the W222. You have the touch pads here. You guys can see that. So you can control everything. Uh, you have all your controls for your adaptive cruise control there. So I believe we go back, very similar. I'm not gonna go too in depth uh, to this because it's pretty much identical to the S560 sedan. However, if we go over to designs and see we have sport, we'll go progressive. Progressive is pretty cool. It gives you kind of like a center tack there. Although this being a Maybach, I feel like it should be classy. We'll go back to designs. We'll do sport, it looks very nice. It actually updates over here and changes. Um, going into vehicle settings, I'll actually turn off the light here. Uh, very similar to the other car. I, the only options that are different is that the engine is a V12 versus a V8. Uh, as far as the climate control settings, you have energizing comfort. There's all your vitality programs, won't get into that. Dynamic select. You have your engine data, which is pretty cool. pretty cool and if we go back see what else we have vehicle data that's kind of like all your dynamic data shows your uh, brake pedal gas pedal and uh, what level the air suspension is currently at right now in comfort we'll go uh, to sport so right now the air suspension is lowering to accommodate um, let's see we got the glove box uh, the actual vial is not there right now because it is in the back and we'll go through that in a second for the uh, perfume atomizer there. So right now we're going to get into the back of the S650 sedan, check out the interior. There's Gene, the owner of Euro Motorsports, checking out the two Mybox. So right now we're going to get into the best seat in the house in any Maybach, which is the right rear passenger seat. It's going to move all this stuff over. This is actually the uh, Mercedes juice, as a lot of people call it, or the Maybach, the perfume, interior perfume. This is called Agarwood. I'm going to put that over there. All, the, uh... all right, stepping into the back of the S650 sedan. Just like that, the whole world goes away. Very quiet. And uh, very similar to the other 
my box today and I reviewed the S560. You have your chauffeur mode. If you hold this button down with the little guy laying down, the seat moves forward. You have your uh, rear rotating tweeters for the Burmester high-end system. And over here, you've got all your accessories that came with the car. Uh, this car literally came off the truck a couple hours ago. It's got 28 miles on it. Everything's still uh, wrapped up. We did put the uh, thigh pillows on, the, uh, the leg rests and the headrests here. But like the remotes are still in the protective plastic covers. Um, you have all the stuff, you have the headphones, these pillows which are amazing and nicer than the pillows I have on my bed at home. And uh, let's see, first we're going to open up one of these remotes, so I'll be with you in a second. Alright, so I've got batteries in the remote here. I'm actually going to put my phone in the wireless charger back here. Pretty cool. Actually, it is charging right now. Now, these remotes are pretty cool. So you can either have them control the center command up there, the left screen or the right screen. So we're going to have it control the left rear, no, right rear. And uh, just hit on. Got the Maybach logo. Of course, uh, it goes to Sirius. You can, uh, it's all the same controls as in the front. You go to car. You can change the ambient lighting. Put the welcome on, climate, multicolor animation, do multicolor. So the brightness in the rear was only 50%. If we go over, we can actually go all the way up, 100%. So now it's getting brighter back here. And actually, if I turn off the uh, rear lights back here, see it is amazing back here got all the shades you can actually control the uh, magic sky control here look at that you can actually close it too and uh, this shade that comes across is actually uh, kind of like an Alcatara or a microfiber suede so figured out the ambient lighting now if we go back let's go to car Panel heating, display settings, so basically everything that you can control up front, you can control back here. And it's really the ultimate level of luxury. And uh, what I'm going to do is press the, uh, go into chauffeur mode here. So if I press this button, the guy laying down, my seat's lowering, reclining quite a lot. Leg rest is coming out. That is pretty cool. I'm completely stretched out back here. I could take a nap, go to sleep. I mean, doesn't get much better. Of course, just like the S560 sedan, you have heated and cooled cup holders. Pretty cool. You have your two zone climate control, phone charging. You have the tray tables, which fold out. Of course, they're uh, leather wrapped. That matches the interior really doesn't get much better than this guys don't know what to say while it is nice being in the back of these cars uh, it actually is pretty enjoyable driving them all right now i'm going to get the s650 sedan out on the road and see what it's like to drive all right guys right now i am taking the 2020 mercedes maybach s650 sedan out for a little drive right now i've got the amazing multi-beam headlights lighting up the night for me I'm gonna take it around the block real quick this vehicle has uh, 28 miles on it. I'm just really gonna go around the block, not even really gonna put a mile or two on it. Uh, Dan was very kind enough. He actually stayed very late for me, allowing me to review both the S650 sedan I'm in right now and the Cabriolet. So right now I'm just taking it around the block. I'm gonna actually drop it down into, let's put it into sport mode. Might try curve mode, although there's really no curvy roads around here to try. But man, I gotta tell you, uh, just like the S560 sedan that I drove, uh, this car rides amazingly. It is extremely smooth. You get a little hint of the V12 that's under the engine. Uh, the V8 was a little bit quieter, I will say. However, the V12 is still very quiet. Um, honestly, I'll say it just like in the S560 sedan or really any other Maybach I've ever driven, um, is this is the ultimate in luxury. 
It's not a performance car. It's not trying to be one. It knows what it is. It makes no mistakes about it. It is a luxury car through and through. Um, the way that it was engineered for that sole purpose, uh, you really can't beat it. It is really something else. I mean, right now I got all the ambient lighting on, this amazing quilted leather. Got it sport mode, gonna give a little gas. Actually it does have some balls. It's uh, well over 5,000 pounds. Uh, it still makes about 620 horsepower and I believe around 660 pound feet of torque, something like that. Um, really is amazing to drive. I mean, I'm driving around some back streets here in Fort Lauderdale. If I'm honest, not really the best area, but uh, no one's really exactly walking up to a Maybach to uh, question what they're doing, that's for sure. Turn right here. This thing is just amazing to drive. The active bolsters coming on to hug me, keep me in the seat. These headlights are just out of this world. It's very smooth, very quiet. I don't have any music or anything on. Air conditioning is on low. Um, really, not much else to say. Just like the S560 sedan, drives amazing. The car is rear wheel drive. This definitely has a lot more power. Uh, gets off the line a lot quicker. The fun factor of this compared to the S560, the S560 was a little bit less nose heavy. Uh, the S650, however, has a very heavy engine, six liter twin turbo V12. Um, but like I said, twin turbo V12, uh, extended wheelbase, luxury limousine, can't beat it. All right guys, well that should do it for this review of the 2017 Mercedes Maybach S650 Cabriolet and the 2020 Mercedes Maybach S650 Sedan. Uh, once again, I can't thank Dan and Gene from Euro Motorsports enough for giving me the opportunity to review these two very special, very rare V12 Mercedes Benzes or Mercedes Maybachs. And um, honestly, I, don't, I know I say this all the time, but I think this is definitely one of my favorite reviews yet, if not my favorite review yet that I've done. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And if you're not already, please be sure to subscribe. See you next time, guys.